Hey everyone, Volrath here. Uh, today we're looking at The Visitor, which is a short game that was made for a contest. I can't remember which contest right now, but um, it was made in a week, which is hard to do. Not impossible, but uh, to make one with, with non-RTP visuals like this is pretty ambitious. Um, so it's kind of an adventure game, I guess that's the best way to describe it. Because there's no combat or you know anything like that, you you walk around and you get um, you get items to use, and you look at these awesomely creepy pictures. I don't know where he found these, but they're they're great. Um, and you just sort of progress little by little until you you know start to get into the broader story of what's going on. Um, and right now I'm controlling. Uh, well, the, the, hold on, let me backtrack. The game's about a family who moves into a uh, house that was uh, left to them by their uncle. It's almost like that game Gone Home, that indie game, if anybody's played that. Only in that sense, though. I mean, it's clear the subject matter is, is worlds away from, from Gone Home. But, um, so it's like 1913, and they're in this house, and right now I'm controlling the little son. Um, and then eventually he plays a father. And, uh, you know, it's one of those games where every... Everything you look at has a little description, um, and that's. Uh, I mean, I'm always kind of impressed by people who take the time to do that, because that tends to like bore the hell out of me. In the in the game maker, not to play. I mean, when you're playing, it's kind of neat, but when you're actually doing it, it's just like, oh, I got to come up with something to say about a table. And then I got to come up with something to say about like a vase or a candlestick, and it just it just gets old. I don't have much patience for it. Um, but, um, and especially impressive in this case is that when you're, when you start playing as the father, uh, you, the descriptions of things change, because he's looking at it with his perspective. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty good, that's pretty conscientious, and, uh, especially when you only got a week to do it, I mean, that's, you know probably could use that time for other stuff, but uh, it's time well spent in the end, because it sort of enhances the um, the atmosphere and whatnot. So I've been told by my uh, my father to unplug the bath. I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe the uncle was a really hairy kind of guy, and there's a lot of hair in the in the drain. Um, we didn't say, you know, I gotta go find a, a plunger or something. Now here's a number. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. It's sort of a, that's a rule with these games. You see a number, write it down. You're going to use it at some point. Um, so, as you can see, uh, the sprites are custom, and they're sort of—they're really distinctive. It's like shrimpy little guys, and um, like I say in the review, I, I kind of like that they're so shrimpy looking because um, the sort of antagonists in this game are are really big and frightening, and you can barely see them most of the time. So, I mean, it just kind of adds that effect. I do think that. Sometimes the rooms look a little too big. Oh, there's a plunger. Okay, so I'll, I'll be unplugging the bath for that. Um, I do think, like I said, I think some of the rooms look a little big. And some of the hallways in particular. And I think the small size of the sprites sort of, you know, makes that feel more exaggerated. I mean, it's almost like he's walking the length of a football field with, with, each, one the, you know, with each one of these maps. Um, which one was the bathroom? Don't bother. Jeez, thanks, Mom. Um, I gotta find the bathroom again and then unplug it, but I can't remember where it is. Well, it's probably not in the attic, but I haven't been up here yet, so let's check it out. Um, yeah, I think you guys should definitely play this game, because it's it's so short. I mean, what have you got to lose, honestly? Um, you know, unless you get stuck for a long time, which, which I did every so often. Um, but even then, it was only like I don't know, an hour and a half, probably, with <laughs> with 20 minutes or so of me just, like, wandering back and forth, like, where's the item I need, where's the item I need? Um, but if you pay attention to these descriptions, uh, you usually can deduce what you're supposed to do. So I gotta find that bathroom, where the hell was it? Um, is it right here somewhere? That one? Yeah, here we go. I thought I had the plunger, but that's not... 
Oh, good, he's okay. So yeah, you use, you use items at certain spots, like the, um, you know, for the menu. Oh, I got a key. Alright, let's go see what it unlocks. In the meantime, uh, check, out, check this game out. See you guys later.